Hey man, do you have the uh, owner's phone number? We can uh, contact with. Or the person uh, that told you to come out here and sit with him. I had the number for the store, but I don't have his personal number. You don't have his personal number? No. Okay, look, this is what I got. Okay, we were not told of any kind of security supposed to be going on out here. Okay, you were talking about you don't have to provide me with identification. I haven't if done anything a, wrong. If this was a consensual encounter, you'd be 100% correct. Okay, but right now you're sitting outside of business. You're also sitting in a flea market. We were not advised of any kind of security. I'm a vendor here, sir. Okay. We were also not advised of any kind of security that was supposed to be out here. We can't get in contact with the store owner. So yes, you do have to provide me with information because you are at technically at this point loitering and prowling. Uh, no, okay. sir, yes, I'm vending out here. You are trespassing on this property right now. Okay, so let me go ahead and see your driver's license. I'm, I'm a vendor. Would you like me to go ahead and call my chief and get him out here? C can I please speak mean, to him? I we can do that, absolutely. <laughs> Sir, I'm a vendor out here. I'm being very polite to you. I'm a vendor out here. I am watching over the property for, for, the, right. for, for them. I understand, and I'm being polite with you, too. There should be, if you're if you're out here a vendor doing nothing wrong, there should be no issue with you providing me with a driver's license so that way we can just have it on file. Somebody else comes out here, says, hey, you tell them, hey, look, I'm, you know, security out here. I was told to watch it. They can say, hey, dispatch, do we have any kind of knowledge that this person is supposed to be out here? There's, They're going to say, yes, he's actually been run out here and supposed to be security. There's uh, there's four other people staying out here. If you want, you can go knock on their door and talk to them. Well, I'm talking to you right now. I, I can know. go talk to them, too. Yeah, go ahead. But, yeah, let me go ahead and see your ID. I haven't done anything wrong. You're loitering and prowling at this point. Yes, you are. No, I'm a vendor okay, out you've here. Got, you're a veteran out here. A vendor. 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 Okay. Can I please uh, speak to your sergeant? You, you speak to my... Uh, 11105. Okay. This individual is rushing to speak with you. Cancel. I'm not trying to be rude, just I haven't done anything wrong. I'm watching over the place. I'm minding my business sitting in my vehicle. As you can clearly tell, I am a vendor out here. Okay, it's your vehicle, correct? Yes. Okay. You can walk back there, and, just, just, and just, just let you know there is an airsoft gun sitting back there, but it's broken. It's sitting in the little holster thing. I'm, I'm just letting you know. Okay. You got a number? All right, sir. Go ahead and. Uh... Say what you got to say. This is my supervisor. Uh, I am a vendor out here. I'm also a security. I am doing a job. I'm keeping an eye on the property, and he's trying to identify me, and I have done nothing wrong. I I have told everybody out here that I'm watching the place, and the owner the owner actually wanted me to. He, he was actually glad that I'm here. Yeah, yeah. What is the owner's name? A Bill. Bill? So Bill does know that you are out there? Yes, yes. I, I, I've, okay. been out, I've been out, I've been out here since Thursday. Yeah, yeah, listen, it's not, it's not a big deal. Uh, my officer was just out there because nobody told us that there was anybody 
any kind of security there's, that was out there. He's not, he's not trying to identify you because you've done anything wrong. It's just in case something does happen, then we know, you know, that we you were the one that stuff. was there. I'm the one watching over the place. If you want, you can go talk to them. You can go talk to the people over, over there by the tree line. There's four other people staying out here. You can go I'm knock on their, on their door and wake, wake, wake them up. Too. I'll go talk to them, too. I, I mean, that's absolutely fine. But like, like she said, I'm not trying to identify you because you have done something wrong. You know? We but, were not advised of any kind of security out here. But see, here's but, the... Here. Okay. Okay. All right, Castro, thank you. But see, here's the thing. If something happens, you're gonna blame me for it. I know. I know how it works. Bravo Kilo Frank X Ray One Six BKF X One Six. Eighty-seven one. She's gonna take you out to Alexander Eaton and Arthur Eaton. Ten twenty-six. Would you run the R, please? Let me let me ask you a question. Did somebody call you out here, or did you just randomly pull in? Okay, bud. I'm just asking. That's all I'm doing. I'm now, part asking. Part of my job is keeping an eye on such things like this. Okay. Yes. I, I am an officer with the city. Yes, okay? I understand that. I was advised by my supervisor, which is the person you just spoke with, yes, to come out here and keep an eye on this place. Yes. Because, I mean, all this kind of stuff is just really sitting out underneath our. I'm watching the place. I I do security walks about every hour. I understand that. You're not getting the point of this. You're not getting the point of me trying to, to talk to you. Hmm. You're not getting the point of me just wanting to identify you just to know who you are, okay? You may be who you no, say I, you are. I am. I don't know that. Is valid. Protection order 7824. That's extremely old. Alexander Simple. You can put him in the carry card as an individual out at the DMV Treasures. Can I please get your name and badge number? Officer Tristan Porter. Badge number is C111. Thank you. Thank you. You can go fuck yourself! Go fuck yourself, you stupid cop! 